coming Monday, June 13th, um, donors, foundations, advocates will be gathering in London for the first pledging conference for the Gavi Alliance, which is the alliance that uh, delivers uh, vaccines and immunizations for the world's poorest populations. Uh, this is a very important moment. Um, the organization has uh, put out an appeal for $3.7 billion in, in assistance for the next period, 2011 through 2015. They're hoping to be able to add that to existing resources of $3.1 billion and be able to bring forward uh, vaccines for an additional 250 million poor children around the world. Despite the um, uh, poor economic circumstances and the budgetary stress uh, that governments are under and donors uh, and, and partner, partner countries, uh, there's quite a bit of optimism that in fact uh, uh, they will achieve success. And if they do, this will carry uh, Gavi into a new era. Uh, the uh, G Gavi Secretariat uh, will have a new president and CEO um, uh, as of August 1. Uh, has a, a new board chairman uh, and, um, and, and it is looking to um, really put the world's focus uh, on this critical dimension of, of global health, which is that, that vaccines are a, uh, vaccines particularly for poor populations and especially for the young are a specially effective and cost effective way of, of improving uh, the health of the world's poor um, and reducing uh, mortality uh, and, and illness. Uh, in the future, looking beyond the pledging conference in London on Monday, it's going to be very, very important to take the long view and for the Gavi Alliance and its, and its um, backers to be able to build substantial resources into the long term from multiple directions. Th there needs to be higher level efforts at engaging the emerging powers uh, to begin to participate um, as, uh, as backers um, of this initiative. And there's, there's much more that can be done uh, in terms of um, uh, getting partner uh, recipient governments to engage in higher levels of co-financing. And there's more that can be done in engaging uh, uh, industry and shaping markets so that price levels can be brought down without damaging the market uh, so that you can get better bang for the buck uh, in the dollars that are secured.